is the perfect RIA In case you didn't know Bringing you all the strategies To help your business grow Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Sit back and listen in While you feel the beat, yeah Another myth bites the dust Hello, TPR Nation. This is Amber from The Perfect REA. Thank you for joining me on today's Follow-Up Friday. On Monday, Matt was joined again by Aaron Walker, one of Matt and Micah's coaches, and he had previously joined us as a guest on another episode. So make sure that you listen to Aaron's first episode with us, which is linked in Monday's show notes. Matt and Aaron were talking about entrepreneurship and how entrepreneurs tend to live in an isolated world, except to just pat each other on the back. Aaron's mission is to help fix that. Now, a little background on Aaron. He's owned 14 businesses over 44 years. The first 20 years, he said he spent those in isolation. He didn't want people to know things, and he was incredibly private. He ended up joining a mastermind group, and he kept himself on the side for a few months until he realized that everyone had their own problems and that he didn't know everything, and he could use help with some things. He ended up staying in that mastermind group for 12 years. And eventually, he said when he was ready to retire, the people in the group recommended that he start helping others. And he now has 15 groups with 150 men in five countries. Aaron talked about how we go to people every single day and we ask them a question. Then we try to implement what they said to do and it ends up failing miserably because there's no context. But with a mastermind, people know the answers to your questions because they know pretty much everything about you. So he's made it his life's mission to help businessmen live a successful and significant life. Aaron said that isolation is the enemy of excellence and that if you want to go far in life, you need to get out of isolation. He shared that one of the main reasons people are in isolation is that fear of the unknown and not knowing some of the challenges that you might face. That fear can be paralyzing unless you have people helping to push you and you need someone who doesn't have anything to gain or lose as a result of their advice to you. Aaron said another thing that he's found prevalent in most businessmen is that they have unhealed father wounds and people can be isolated because of this. He experienced this himself and he spent a lot of time trying to gain the approval of others. He also said there's misguided thoughts around self-preservation. He said that you need people around you who are unbiased and who will call you out. Matt and Aaron pointed out that a big benefit of masterminds is to have a place where you can share an issue you're dealing with and talk about it with people that you trust, respect, and who know you. Aaron talked about a program that he started called Come As You Will Be, and that helps focus on the aspirations in every area of your life and includes an accountability piece as well. He shared some success stories from the program, and he said that it's because they're meeting weekly that it changes things for them. Aaron shared that in that weekly meeting, they celebrate the wins. Then they go into a man in the middle, and that rotates through who's involved in the group, and that person shares what they're dealing with, and everyone focuses on that person that week. They also share tips or books or resources, so you get weekly interaction with these people. He said it becomes a safe place for people to understand what and why they want to accomplish things. Let's get into action items. Go check out Aaron's book, View from the Top, which we have linked in Monday's show notes. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Aaron's masterminds, please make sure that you also visit the show notes. We have a link directly to that. On Thursday, Jamie was talking about Nepo babies, which refers to nepotism in the workplace, someone who's been handed a job or promotion based upon their parents' achievements or their family history. In Jamie's family, she said that they tell the ugly, honest truth, which is what she was ready to do in this episode. So this applied to if you're a parent who's trying to create a legacy firm or if you're in that junior seat. She shared how when they were younger, they noticed that Micah never talked about how he was a part of a family firm. The reason was because people tend to think that someone only works for their parents if they can't find something somewhere else. Even now, Jamie will hear from others who make those comments and make it appear as if things were handed to her. So she said, if you're a child of an entrepreneur and you're growing up in their business, you must outwork everyone because everyone will think that you had that job handed to you and they won't look at your skills or your expertise and think that you earned your spot. And this is what Jamie said she and Micah grew up with, where people were thinking everything was handed to them. But in reality, the opposite was true. They had to work for everything. And this is the same lesson that she's teaching her son. She wants him to be honest, hardworking, and kind. Jamie also talked about her son and how he had to work his way through college and get scholarships and a student loan. She doesn't believe in signing for student loans. And the advice that she gives to clients is that you can't finance your retirement, but you can finance a college education. So she takes her own advice. When Jamie's son graduated college, she helped him come up with a five and 10-year plan and laid out all the things for him to accomplish during that time. 
That plan was the best attempt to help him navigate towards the best path. And if he were to ever come up with a different plan, that was okay. But she wasn't okay with no plan. She said people are always telling kids what to do, but then around 16, they start telling them, hey, you're almost an adult. But kids don't even know what that means and entails. And so we need to help kids learn how to navigate things. The plan for Jamie's son required that he was putting money away for savings, retirement, and giving back. And so far, she said he hasn't deviated from that initial plan. Now, what she said he didn't get after college was a job at Shalansky and Associates, which was different from Jamie and Micah. They grew up in the business starting as janitors and filing, stuffing mailers, and they worked from the ground up. But the reason she didn't do this with her son is because that dynamic is different with the grandchildren. So they set a rule that the kids could not work at the office as their first job. They had to work for someone else first. Jamie didn't want them to feel that working for them was their only path or that they had to work in finance. And they already had a lot of the lessons that people learn when they're older, but they needed to experience all the aspects of working for someone else, including the negative ones. Those negative experiences don't have to last forever, but what you learn from them will last a lifetime. And there's also power in hearing things from other people. Jamie talked about how as parents, and especially for entrepreneurs who are looking to bring their kids into the business, you're constantly planting seeds to help your kids when they're younger, but you're unsure if they're listening. They are. And you especially find this out when they start working for someone else. All the foundation that you've tried to set for them, it'll grow naturally. And this is what Jamie said they experience with the kids in her family. Jamie said that you have the responsibility with the children you're influencing to make sure that they can endure things to come. They need to know what being uncomfortable feels like and the coping mechanisms and skills to handle things. So if you're an entrepreneur, it's natural to want to create a business and a legacy that you can bring your family and your children into, but you want to make sure that you're not just giving things to them. Nothing worth having in life is ever just given to you. You have to earn it and work for it. Let's get into action items. With working with kids, plant those seeds and make sure that they're a part of the conversation. And it's okay to let kids get uncomfortable without you having to fix things for them. And then lastly, make sure you let your kids go and work for someone else first. Before we go TPR Nation, if you're ready to grow and dramatically impact your life and those around you and you want resources to help, reach out to us at lifestyle at theperfectre.com or you can visit theperfectre.com slash grow. That wraps up this week's recap. Thank you for joining me and please share this or any of our episodes with another advisor or team member who you think might benefit from listening. And be sure to subscribe to the Perfect RA podcast so you don't miss an episode. Until next time, Happy planning. Hey everybody, ever wish that you could get more from this podcast than just Mike and I telling jokes back and forth and making witty comments? Well, great news is that you can. For a select group of advisors, Mike and I will coach you through how to get your practice to the next level. What does that look like? It looks like regular webinars just for our members. It looks like access to templates, systems, processes, marketing materials that we're using day in and day out in our practice. It looks like the value adds that we're doing each calendar quarter. And it looks like the forum, the members only forum where you can get spot coaching and ask questions to Mike and I directly. So go to the perfectria.com slash grow slash G-R-O-W to get more information for more great resources that are available to our podcast listeners. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. The information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife. The perfect RIA. The perfect RIA.